Brown-headed cowbirds are back for another nesting year here in Northeast Iowa. Not that uh, too many of us are probably thrilled about that, uh, since their nesting success depends upon uh, some other bird uh, suffering at their expense. Uh, Brown-headed cowbirds are nest parasites, which means that uh, they don't build their own nest. Uh, females sneak around, find uh, another bird, something like a, maybe a chipping sparrow or a little yellow warbler. They uh, sneak their egg into that other nest, uh, oftentimes uh, taking the other eggs and, uh, and uh, throwing them out of the nest so that the, the little chipping sparrow mom uh, or a yellow warbler ends up uh, raising a baby cowbird instead of uh, the bird that it was supposed to. Anyway, uh, the male brown-headed cowbird here has a kind of glossy greenish black feathers on his back and body with a, a brown head. Uh, the female would be dull gray. So uh, listen for the gurgling sound of the brown-headed cowbirds now uh, in the area here. Pussy willows are a favorite sign of spring for many people here in the Driftless region when those furry little gray catkins pop open. Seems especially fitting maybe this year uh, because uh, they're uh, coming out at about Easter time uh, and uh, kind of a nice little renewal of life there. Uh, the pussy willow uh, shrub or a small tree likes to grow in wetland areas. So uh, if you've got a nice pair of rubber boots, you can go out there with a scissors or a pocket knife, uh, cut off a few sprigs, take them back home, uh, put them in a little base on a flower base on the kitchen table, add some water, and uh, you can have uh, pussy willows, uh, you know, popping up right there in your house. Uh, nice sure sign of spring, you know. Uh, sometimes uh, you might even get little rootlets to grow on those pussy willow sprigs and if you've got a, a proper place, maybe uh, some wet soils or whatever, uh, you could plant them and uh, grow a new pussy willow tree. How about that? So enjoy the pussy willows if you find them out uh, in the outdoors here this weekend. I always enjoy looking for these colorful little scarlet cup uh, mushrooms or fungi when they pop out of the forest floor now in early spring. Uh, these uh, little mushrooms are not very big, usually maybe only about the size of a quarter uh, or slightly bigger, uh, but uh, they uh, fruit, you might say, or grow on pieces of decaying tree bark or branches down on the forest floor, often where uh, the ground is kind of mossy as well. Uh, these little scarlet cup uh, mushrooms are uh, not edible per se. Uh, I don't know that they're poisonous either, but uh, I uh, don't know if anybody has ever tried to eat one. And uh, I don't know. I think they're uh, kind of uh, nice just to enjoy as they grow out there on the forest floor. Uh, but uh, it was kind of interesting. I was looking inside one the other day and it looked like it had a bunch of dirt in the bottom. But when I looked closer, uh, it was hundreds of these real tiny little springtails in there. Uh, springtails, uh, some springtails are otherwise known as snow fleas. And uh, so snow fleas could hide in these things. Uh, you know, now in the early spring, uh, if there's, uh, you know, when there's sometimes still snow on the ground when they're out there. So uh, be on the lookout for scarlet cup fungus or mushrooms in the, the next couple weeks.